So well, let's take one example for the move machine. It says that we have to design a move machine that counts the number of A's in the given string with the symbols A and B. It means that the input alphabets are given. Those are A and B. And we have to count the number of A's. So we can say that obviously one will be there in the output alphabet. Along with this, I'm, with this, I'm taking the zeros also. So since I have to count A's only in the um, given string, what we can say that let's say I'm moving, I am at this state number A. And if A comes, let's move to state number B. And if B comes, let's come back to this state number A. If A comes, let's remain at, uh, if B comes at a state A, let's remain at A because that is not our desired, uh, that is not our desired output or not the desired state. But if I get A at state B, let's remain at state number B. Now, how do we count A? We can associate the output alphabet with the state A since I am at the state number A when I get B. So let's associate zero here. And I come to the state number B where whenever A comes. So I'll mark one here. So in this way, you can see that we can design the move machine for counting the number of A's in the given string. Let's say, let's take the string A, B, double A, B. So in this case, the output should come as three because there are three A's. So let us see how does the movement go. I am at a state number A and zero is the output. If I get A, I move to state number B and one is the output. If I get B at a state number B, I will move to A and zero is the output. If I get another A, I will move to state number B and one is the output. If I get another A, I will remain at the state number B and one will be the output. So here you can see the see that there are three ones which has come here in this moon machine when I process the string through the moon machine. So that is what we expected that whenever A's will come, the counting will be incremented by one. So what we are considering that whenever ones are coming, it means another A has come, another A has come. Ultimately, this is giving us one whenever A is, A is encountered in the input string. So this is a very simple one. Let us design uh, something else with respect to uh, what we have designed just now. We are changing uh, the question as it will count the number of the A's mod 3. Okay, so it will count the number of A's mod 3. Let's say the number of A's in the given string W and then it finds out mod 3. So meaning of this is that uh, uh, if I get 4 A's, then it will print 1 because 4 modulus 3 is 1. If I get 7 A's, then also it will produce the output 1 because 7 modulus 3 is 1. If I get 9 A's, then it will be giving us the output 0 because 9 modulus 3 is 0. If I get 12 A's, then the output will be 0. If I get 14 A's, in that case, the output will be 2. So this is what it is expected that it, it, it either produces 0 or it produces 1 or it produces 2. So for doing so, uh, we can think of uh, three uh, state automata wherein let's first design the DFA for this. So what the DFA will do that uh, if I'm getting a 0 A, so it should print 0. If I get 1 A, then I'll move to state number B and it prints 1. It, if I get another A, let's move to state number C. And if I get the third A, let's move to state number A. So on 0 A, I am at the A state. With 1 A, I am at the B state. With 2 state, I, two A's, I am at the C state. When I get another A, means the third A, I'll move to state A. So 0 mod 3 is 0. 3 mod 3 is also 0. 6 mod 3 will also be 0. So let's see if I uh, come to A at the 6 A's. So I'm, I was already here with the 3 A's. With the fourth A, I go to B state. With fifth A, I go to sixth state, a C state. And with the sixth A, I'll once again come back to state number A. So it means that the A state will be the final state if I consider that. Uh, DFA, I'm designing the DFA with the number of A's in the string mod 3 is equals to 0. So if it is the case, then A will be the final state. Similarly, if I get a 4A or the 7A or the 10A, I'll remain at state number B. 
So state number B will be giving us the number of A mod 3 is equals to 1. Similarly, if I get 5 A's or 8 A's or 11 A's, I'll go to the state number C, which is actually number of A's mod 3 is equals to 2. So I can associate 0, 1, 2 with the states only. So let's design the move machine. In the move machine, I'll say that if I'm at a state number A, then 0 is produced. If I am at state number B, then 1 is produced. And if I am at a state number C, 2 is produced. Okay. And then I'll come back to state number A. So these are the transition with A. And now in the string, the Bs will also be there, but I don't worry for that. So let's have, let's stay at the same state when I am getting the B. And so this will be the mode machine for number of A's mod 3. Right? Let's say I get the input A, B, A, A, B. So in this case, the final outcome should be the number of A mod 3. And here you can see that there are three A's, so output should be 0. Let's see if the output will be 0 in this case or not. So I start with the state number A. It produces the output 0. I get an A. I move to a state number B and it produces the output 1. I get a B and I should remain at a state number B and the output produced here is one only. Till now only one A has come. And then if I get another A, I'll move to state number C, which will produce the output two. If I get another A, it will move to state number A and output zero is produced. And if I get a B here, then I should remain at a state number A and output zero is produced. So whatever is the final outcome or the final value here in the string or the output string, we can say that this is the answer of the question. It means here the number of A's were three and we have produced the answer zero. So number of A mod three is the output that what we have produced here. So I hope you must have understood this question. We will solve more similar questions in the subsequent lectures. Thanks for watching.